I'm Brian Westbrook at AWS Summit in New York City, joined by Bruce Marler, Senior Director of Revenue, Social Impact for Twilio. First of all, thank you so much for being here. How has it been so far? Uh, it's been great, actually. The energy's been great. There's a lot of great talk about hey, how AI is impacting so much of what we're doing every day. It's really just good energy right now. And Social Impact, let's dive into that just a little bit. That is the public sector, nonprofit, and healthcare. And AI deployments are growing faster in that space versus the for-profit world. Why do you suppose that is? What are you seeing? Yeah, I think a lot of it is like the trust you need in those communities and the efficiency you need in those communities. And what we're really seeing in a lot of cases is if you look at a nonprofit organization and the efficiency they need in the communications and the rapid need a lot of people have for support in, in the situations they're dealing with, being efficient and making sure you have the resources to the right person at the right time, extremely important. So I think that's healthcare, that's refugee response, that's education, all that's the same. You need to get help to people when they need it, right? And I think AI brings that to them. And you mentioned some of this, but all of this really leads to a lot of community impact and community benefits. Can you give us some specific examples of how AI deployments in these sectors have led to community benefit? Absolutely, just healthcare, for example, right? Like, if you think about these doctors have so much on them, the, the nurses have so much on them, so it's hard to like really take care of everyone in a really effective way sometimes, but they want to, they have the real want to. And you think about the patient side where they're looking for a good outcome, but you know, they may be talking to a doctor that speaks another language than them or something. So if you put all that together, it's not a great experience for patients and doctors. So what we're really seeing is AI is actually bringing efficiency to that, really bringing an efficiency to let the doctor focus more on the patient care versus taking notes, trying to transcribe something. By being able to bring bring like real-time intelligence and transcription and translation to these engagements, you get really better experiences for that doctor because they can move on, support a patient, and the patient's going to have a better outcome because they understand what this doctor's saying, maybe in their language, maybe in a better, I'm going to say human-readable way compared to what the doctor's saying them. So, so we really see all that kind of trust and transparency that comes through like with real communication, like here's the real detail of what you need versus just a bunch of random words all patients may not understand. It's going to bring better outcomes and also is more efficient for the doctor so they can focus, focus on patient care more. And I want to get to speaking of the patients and speaking of uh, the public sector consumers, we're dealing with public dollars, we're dealing with nonprofits, we're also dealing with government organizations that have a lot of regulations. Transparency in the AI space is huge and Twilio has a tool for that. Tell me a little bit more. We do, and we're really proud of this. Like, if you really talk to organizations, they all love AI, they want to do stuff, and they think they're doing what's great, personalizing things for their customers, for their communities. Well, what happens is we are finding those constituents, those consumers, they may not feel they can trust what people are doing with their data right now. So Twilio wants to be really trust-focused from the very beginning, trust-based communications, trust-based with your data. So we've created the nutrition label that other entities, ourselves, can show this is what I'm doing with your data. So when someone comes to work with that nonprofit or that hospital or whatever it may be, they can know exactly how their data is going to be used, how it'll be utilized when you go maybe to a predictive analysis of something or maybe you know some other data-driven engagement for marketing. All of this can be kind of understood by the consumer ahead of time how their data is going to be used to do that. So not only is it a bit of transparency, it's also kind of making it easy, simplifying the communication around that. Let's get to education. Uh, you've used AI in some of your deployments to really help with retention in the education space. Tell us more. Yeah, well, if you think about the, the demographic of who's going to school, who's likely working with, whether it be a higher ed, whether it be high schools, whatever it is, like those are typically people that are going to be very, um, I'm going to say phone driven, communication driven, right? You're using WhatsApp, you're using text. Right? Maybe not picking up the phone in all cases, maybe you are, but you need to handle multiple channels at a time. And you need to be able to interact with those students or parents, or whatever it is, across all those channels consistently and understand what's been going on, right? So we're finding people are taking like, you know, a, a Twilio segment, CDP type of platform, or like a Twilio Flex, our contact center platform, and they're able to provide a customized and targeted engagement with those students to retain them because they may have a financial aid need that's really complex, but by having a personalized response, by looking at the data that's been coming through and what they've been doing, you can provide more information to them based on their journey they've had. Or maybe it's someone that, maybe it's something even more serious. Maybe it's a student that's having mental health challenges. 
And by having kind of a predictive behavior, you know, kind of reviewed, you can see are they starting to miss class? Are their grades going down here? And start to drive predictive analysis and start to understand what services to give to them sooner. And maybe retain them as a student and bring their grades up and make them have a better experience. They want to stay in school and graduate and go to the next step in their life. There's a lot to cover here, and I know you have some additional resources available for those, especially in the social impact space, that are thinking about learning more. What have you got for us? Yeah, you're going to see, Twilio, uh, we have an AI white paper that just came out that really goes deep on understanding what AI is doing in the social impact space, whether you're a nonprofit, a hospital, um, you know, public sector, whatever it may be within our social impact space. It's going to help you understand what's really happening with AI in the space and how it's going to help going forward. And I got to tell you, I have taken a peek at this AI white paper for the social impact space. There's a lot of great white papers out there. You guys have done a really great job of putting it together and making it easy to understand. I look forward to encouraging organizations to check that out. Thank you so much for joining us, Bruce. I'm Brian Westbrook with GeekWire Studios. Take care.